discrimination, family neglect, unemployment, social exclusion, lack of education. Me personally, as a blind man, have undergone through all these problems for eight years. Do you know that every three seconds a person tries to commit suicide worldwide? And every 40 seconds a life is lost due to suicide. In India, more than 1.7 million people roam around the street without basic needs and employment. When I was 19 years old, I went to Lebanon as a migrant worker. As soon as I enter in airport, my passport is taken away by a sponsor. The sponsor has fully controlled my life like a slave. Today, there are 250,000 migrant workers in Lebanon, according to International Labor of Organization. More than 300,000 farmers committed suicide from the last two decades in this country. Financial crisis and societal pressure are forcing them to kill themselves. There are more than 125 million people with disabilities in India. That's a huge number, right? But how many of us have seen people with disabilities in markets, malls, theatres, nightclubs, pubs? How many of us have friends with disabilities? How many of us understand sign language? How many of us can think of someone with a disability as our potential life partner? There's a huge stigma, prejudice, and discomfort when it comes to socializing with someone with disability. In 1999, Serbia got a war. That war ruined our economy. Many companies destroyed and closed it. Many people stay without job. Even now, we feel that problem. Young people, it's very hard to find job, and young people with disabilities, it's much harder. In my childhood, I had to pass a slum to school and saw a lot of trashes in the canal. People live overcrowded and lack of proper sanitation facilities and playground. My mother gave birth to me when she was only 15. I could not go to school because my mother could not afford for my education. I grew up seeing my two younger sisters getting pregnant at an early stage. Girls from poor families have been forced into marriage because the families want to make a better bride price. These girls, they get pregnant, they drop out of school, they face the t stigma from the society. Kerala has 1,195 orphanages with more than 50,000 children. They are often abandoned, child rapers, etc. Three out of five students who join grade one in Kenya drop out of school before finishing high school. In Kilifi County, where I come from, which is one of the regions with low level of education, this number might even be less. Waruka is a Shona name that means take a leap or jump, empowering teenage girls from um, running away from forced and early childhood marriages to personality development. Welcome to Waruka Sports Academy, a home for teenage girls who are victims and those who are in danger of forced and early childhood marriages. Imagine the world with roads and streets so clean that people could just stop by and picnic anywhere. The water in the river and canal so fresh and pure that people can just drink right off. And that's the vision that Park Dan, the, the social enterprise that I founded, aimed to achieve. In Snagan Project, we came up with a project called Snagan Village. This village we bring the people from the street in order to rehabilitate them, empower them and train them in employment skill so that they can live independent and self-sufficient life in their life. 
either India sees a world where children from children learn with utmost joy and happiness and develop their skills and they integrate with the larger society. That's my passion and ambition in my life. Fatuma's voice is on the mission of building an Africa that can speak for herself. At Fatuma's voice, we use art, poetry and music to encourage expression. We believe in an Africa that can freely express their emotions and contribute to social change. Wake Up Society is using a business like a tool to help unemployed young people. We provide them free training where they can learn how to make a product, how to design product and how to sell product. Secure Psycho is an organization that works with companies, schools and private institutions to manage their waste at the source in which we provide training on the three R's of waste management, which is to reduce, to reuse, and to recycle. We want to create a space for these youngsters to create arts freely, with free expression, without any constraint, without any restriction. At the same time, we are focusing on youngsters between the age of 15 to 24, and we hope that through this, they are encouraged to follow their passion and fulfill their dream. Amber Coffee want to implement agroforest mode of projects, providing education around the community, primary schools and secondary schools, as well as finding green energy for cooking. Kickstart Kilifi is an organization that is determined to give an ignition kick to these school dropout children to ignite their passion for studies. We, the Mosaic, would like to create opportunities by bringing each individual life treatments, skills, and other activities through sports, music, martial arts, and job opportunities and in around. Through my initiative, Samatwa, we want to bring people with and without disabilities together through fun outings and games. We encourage people with disabilities to come out and claim their right to participate in the society. Let's normalize disability. Let's bridge the gap together because disability can happen to anybody, anywhere, anytime. Hipper offers three solutions. First one is creative activities for teenagers and children. Second one is session for teachers and parents. And the last one, awareness campaign for the society. Solace Africa, a non-profit initiative, is out to train Nigerian youth on non-violence communication and conflict resolution. We empower rural communities like Imafon to transform their local waste into value. Imagine a community making soaps out of cocoa pods. Yeah, that's the future that we'd see. For us, the vision is to see a Nigeria where rural does not mean poor and marginalized. I envision a world where a blind people are independent and fully integrated and equal contributor in the society. We want to see a Cameroon where single mothers, widows and orphans are, have confidence and respected by the members of the community. Picture a world where no one is discriminated based on their gender. That's the world I want to live in. I see Orissa where women are live independently with dignity. As a result of these actions, we want to see this nation where people are proud to be a farmer for preserving the nature and feeding this country. My vision, Lebanon as a country, migrant workers secured by law can claim their rights. I have a dream, the Bangkok where marginalized people live happy, healthy and fulfill life. We believe that life is full of choices. But when life becomes a choice, choose living. Let's live.